Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Finally, back into my happy place. I have a couple projects I'd like to share with you. We've had a um, oh, busy, busy um, three days. <clears throat> so I've been crafting a lot, just not videoing. My, my little granddaughter's been sick in the hospital with her condition and I just left her and she's home now so now I can breathe and relax and yeah bad three days but we're back so I did two different style file folders with an envelope that I wanted to share I used a lot of vintage um or crafty me laces and this one is shabby chic and then I did a grungy one so first let's see okay the first part is you unwrap it and I did a these are so fun to make this is when my granddaughter's sick I do a marathon I just craft because all we do is sit by the phone for 48 hours and just wait because she gets transported about an hour and a half from here so luckily I had my grandson with me. So this is um, glued underneath and we have a snippet here. And this one I used uh, mostly Tsunami Rose Charming fragments. So this is an envelope, buttons, lots of, um, it's just fun. <clears throat> uh, mohair. And then this is a little envelope and everything the envelopes will all have little goodies in it and then let's see this one flips down that's a little envelope this one flips over there's an envelope this one flips over another envelope and then this one is one of the seed packets so like I said all those will be filled with little extra goodies this this makes me, this one makes me happy and smiling. Where the grungy, I did the grungy, that makes me feel so nostalgic and just an all over good feeling, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So this is how it looks this way. The top part I love, this is probably the first kit. Let's see if I can get it all in here. Oh, Tsunami Rose, um, the first kit I purchased was the charming fragments and I just um ripped and teared <laughs> this one has a couple little um raggedy booklets um trim all the lace here another pretty pretty snippet from craft to me shop this picture I absolutely I love the pink and yellow love it love it love it and then this has, let's see, some paper over here. This one you can write on. I have three little journaling cards and another little notebook. And then in here, these are again Crafty Me Shop. Pretty little um, tags and just a little simple, fun writing journal. And that's the back. This one is my pr porch prints. So I mixed them. And then over here is an envelope that's Tsunami Rose and another little card in there. And that just flips over, over, over. And then we push it up. And they don't close. They're, are they practical to write in? Really not. They're just fun to play with. <laughs> Um, this is all trim. This is a little envelope with a little piece of ephemera in it made out of a doily. My little um, oh, envelopes. And then there's just some more. Um, this is, like I said, this is mostly all Tsunami Rose. And this trim is all Crafty Me Shop. So here is... A little flip over with some paper and then I made two little booklets 
and then the paper you can write on. And then that flips over, and this flips over, and there's card notebook there, envelope with another little sewing thing. And then here I started parting with this is a vintage um, paper dowel close, and then I just made a little notebook, the yellow to pick up the yellow. This flips over. You can write on it. You can put a picture there. This is an envelope with um, Crafty Me Shop. Pretty, pretty. Like I said, anything that has an envelope will have some, some more goodies in it. And then this was the two envelopes put together. And I just made a little there's tags and goodies in here. And this one, I think. I think this is my porch prints, too. So this is that one that closes, closes. Then that's, whoop. The front. And these measure like eight by eight and a half. Closed and opened. You're talking about like 18 inches. And then on the back, this is so pretty. This is my porch print. And this, I gessoed it, clear gesso, so it's very, um, oh, I just love that sound. But that's just pretty. So that you get that, and then you get this pretty, um, this is all Crafty Me Shop. And this vintage, um, that vintage tablecloth I had, oops, in my attic. And it just, I coffee dyed it and just made it. Made it look old. So there is one set. Then, thanks to Miss Susie, Crafty Me Shop, it is her fault. Because I wanted to make that one and a grungy one. And the other night I was watching a video and she was doing a grungy book. Vintage. Oh, dear. Where's the paper? I will link it below. Oh, I forgot to look it up. Um, it's a new Etsy shop, or not new, new to me, Etsy shop that had this beautiful collage paper. And I had to go over and get it. Thank you, Miss Susie. I even sent her a text. She was an enabler. <laughs> but I just loved it. So this is the envelope I made. It's very, see this is some of the paper. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this was a very pe uh, old piece of like a, all I can think of is... What do they call it? Oil cloth? Or... And I really distressed it. Didn't need much distress thing, but that's the envelope that comes with it. And the envelope is both the envelopes, I think, are eight and a half by five. Something will come in there. This one was fun. This and that one, the other one was fun, but this was just so nostalgic. And so I did this is an envelope with a um, bag in there. And this is Crafty Me Shop. And this flips over. There'll be something in there. This one is uh, waxed. And this is a vellum envelope. This is a regular one with more wax. And then this is, what is that? That is a seed packet. And then this is just a um, packet, pocket that I made, I punched. So just do, 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 let's see this way. So those are all the, the little goodies in the front. Wait, do you see this paper? It is so beautiful. <clears throat> so this, I really, really, this is when my grandson was sleeping, I was up all night and I was just grunging everything up. So here we have, um, I did a lot of layering with, uh, Coffee dyed, not coffee dyed, a uh, rolled paper, just on a rolled brown paper bag. Coffee filter ruffles. This is all coffee filtered layered. I just did a lot of layering. There's a little bag there. All this trim is from Crafty Me Shop. This is, this is all her kit. I believe this is all the same kit. And, or no. She has um, sets of like maybe five papers, and I think I bought like three of them. And these are little booklets. Some I shrunk down. 
coffee filter bag. These are both to be listed in my Etsy. <clears throat> um, little notebook there. And then over here is a beautiful paper. This is just a little envelope. I'll put something in here. This is more of the paper. Very, very grungy. This is waxed. This is Crafty Me Shop. And then the book. I just kind of put it together and it's just very rough. Grungy. I used a little washi tape and some just a little stamping heavy coffee dye paper. Just a really like if you really found it maybe under a buckboard or something. <laughs> so that's the top part. And the bottom part I did. Let's see. This lifts over. And there's a pocket there that I have something in there. This is just some pad of paper. Very, very dark. This is a snippet, but I decided to just glue it right on there because it fit too good. And there's the flowers from Crafty Me Shop. And then this lifts open. And this has got, let's see, goodies in here. This is some of the paper that I shrunk down. And that's just a little paper. And this is just a kind of a kind of a different shape pad of paper. I just love, love, love it. Actually, I already got another one started because it is so fun. Um, that just you could put something there, paper. There's another little paper here. And then let's see here. I made a little booklet. It's got some pages in it. It's just tied with twine out of um, some. <clears throat> Last year, a restaurant supply went out of business, so I bought all these bags. And this was like a cookie bag. And there's a little, this can be changed. I just stuck that in there with the glassy window, and I shouldn't have took it out. There. And that, this is my porch prints. And then this just keeps it tied. Oh. I supposed to do that. <laughs> um, somebody wanted me to do a bow in slow motion, so I will do that. Um, this is a what is this? Oh, I made a little matchbook. But the grind, I really use I used a lot of walnut stain and black soot and a little burnt sienna or a sienna, just sienna. And this goes in there. And these are just some more tags, and that's coming up. And more tags. And that closes. This closes this way. And this flips up this way. And then the back is just some really pretty paper that I ripped. And um, uh, I did not gesso that, so that's smooth to the touch. And that comes with this. So this is my grungy. And this is my shabby chic set. And I think tomorrow I start, I sent Tina a message. I'm going to um, do that challenge, the ABCs 30 and th 3 and 30. <coughs> I think that'll be a good way to get me refocused and maybe answer a lot of your questions. Like B, I know we'll do bows. So I will start with A's, and I know I am going to do, because I've had this question before. I have, these are all my Crafty Me Shop goodies, appliques, as soon as I find one. Is this my right one? What do I do with appliques? Let me find one. So I will find a big one. It's a wedding applique. Oh, this is a little one. And we'll... um. No, that's right. This is an applique, but I'll find a big one and we'll make. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Appliques. That I know that'll be number A of what I can do with an applique, and we'll make three things out of this one piece. That'll be my. I know that'll be my A. So that is it for now. Hopefully, I'll get a good night's sleep and. Um, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys real soon. Bye.